Hi there, this is Peppermint coming to you live from Not So Sunny Ponte Vedra Beach. Actually, we are under a little stage light here. We're going to do a little cookout. And it's actually a test of the Sony HX30D uh, Cybershot camera. Actually, what you see me holding my hands, fiddling around with, these are just aluminum pans for the Weber. They're actually made for this particular grill, that what we're going to cook on tonight. Tonight, we're going to do a popular tailgate item, which, you know, most people can't handle because they can't handle spice. We're going to cook some Johnsonville Italian sausage on this little Weber grill. This is actually a gas grill. It's called a Weber Q, which is a very small grill. Still has a, you know, a, a decent sized cooking surface. This particular stand is also a Weber stand. You get that out of my hand. That also breaks down flat for travel or storage. Okay, we're back again. Now we're going to break this down for you and what we're going to do tonight. As I said, First of all, it's going to be Johnsonville Italian sausage, hot, obviously. Got some mixed vegetables here that are already pre-chopped because I'm very lazy. These are red onions and this is tri-pepper, your three uh, bell peppers. For those that cannot stomach the uh, full-flavored uh, Italian hot sausage, we've got some good smoked sausages. This home smoke has pecan smoked. Actually looks a little interesting. And then as always, if you happen to live in Florida or Georgia, the uh, Martin's potato rolls, they're the bomb. They're to die for. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to get this stuff on the grill and get it going and uh, see what comes up. Okay, folks, as you can see, we're, we, we have everything out here that we need for our cookout. What I've got here are the chopped vegetables. What I chose was the tri-pepper, uh, which you can see in my other, which is your yellow, green, and red bell pepper. And I chose the purple onion because I don't like the regular nasty yellow onion. Um, this is your smoked sausage, which actually is fully cooked. And these are your Italian hot sausages that actually need to be cooked. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to put these in the manageable sizes. That's something, you know, as far as the smoked sausage goes, you don't want that. Oops. Yeah. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Anyway. Continue on with that. It's nothing like a good dull knife. Next thing what we're going to do is get rid of this. I'm going to stab my dog because he's bugging the crap out of me. And we're going to take these veggies. What we need to do is just take the and, you know, I place them on the grill, I wrap them up, you know, just kind of like a burrito. Just kind of, kind of close them up a little bit so the moisture and the heat will get to them. And they'll kind of like sizzle a little bit. And we'll just set those like right there. Now, I guess before we do anything else, we need to light the grill. Light, start. Press this button in. Don't work. You know what? I ain't got time for this. Oof. I didn't burn any hair either or anything like that, but. Some bitch is lit, is all I know. Look at those veggies, man. They look so, so good in there cooking. You can hear them. It's going to be time for the sausage very shortly. It is time to introduce the sausage to the grill. This is our smoked sausage. It's sizzling. Not too hot, not too spicy. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I like the color of it. And then our Italian sausage, of course, goes on. Blah, blah, blah. And normally what I like to do also in the cooking process is while they're cooking, like particularly the Italian sausages, I like to put a little slit down the middle. And that will make it open up. So you might not want a whole piece, but you might just cut one in half 
and uh, that'll be just fine. So here we go. We're cooking. Okay, as I said, it's time to probably turn the pork over. As you can see, we're up to a good sizzle. As I said, I'm going to take the Italian sausages and split it in half, which is going to actually allow some of the oil and the grease to drip out of it, and to make sure also that it's fully cooked. So, as you see, we are cooking. We're going. We are cooking, folks. We do good. Looks good. Looks good. Looks great. This is already fully cooked. Got to remember that, though. Fully cooked meat. But man, it's going to taste so good being on the grill. Now, as I said in the beginning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little slice in these uh, Italian sausages so they'll go ahead and bleed out. I, I call it bleeding out. I mean, maybe that's something you do with fish, but it's just something that will help the Italian sausages cook a little faster and just to make sure that it's, you know, fully cooked. Because if it's not, you know, this is going to allow a lot of the grease and the fat to drip out of it. So. See, this is also looking good. I'm going to see if I can stir that around a little bit if I don't burn myself. I'll do that with the tongs, baby. I put a little bit of, um, I can't believe it's not butter on the bottom, or you could use Pam, or you can use regular butter, or whatever, whatever you'd like to use. This stuff's cooking up just fine. It's looking good. Looking good. This is Pepperman. You know what? We're going to be eating really, really soon.